Hello YouTube. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can dial in metric measurements on an imperial lathe. There's a couple of magic angles you can use on the compound slide which allow you to feed the compound slide instead of the cross slide to change your turning diameter. And with a couple of different angles you can convert your imperial lathe to metric or vice versa. Now this is the cross slide and compound slide or top slide on my metal working lathe. Normally if you're trying to reduce the diameter of a rod that's being turned up here you put on a small cut at a time with the with the cross slide. Um, but these numbers are written in imperial. If we angle this to um, a slight angle and put a cut on using the compound for a given for a given distance in this direction, feeding slightly towards the center line of the lathe, we can make it move a tiny amount in this direction. Now this is not a new trick. This used to be used a long time ago for people that wanted to convert thousandths of an inch to ten thousandths of an inch. They'd set this to a little bit under six degrees and for every thou that they fed on the compound it would move in one ten thousandth in that direction. But if we use a different number, a different angle, we can feed this in an imperial amount, let's say ten thou, and have it move in a metric amount, let's say ten one hundredths of a millimeter. Well, I'm going to do my best to explain this this angle situation that we've been talking about. Eventually we want our cutting tool to move in on the workpiece by a certain distance. Our lathe bed is the is 90 degrees to that direction and we have the ability to add a compound angle or an angle to our compound slide in this direction. So we can move in this direction some distance and depending on the angle here it will also move in this direction some distance. If we want to turn inches into millimeters, which is how, how I'm trying to work this, let's say I want to move one inch in this direction and and turn it into let's say 10 millimeters in this direction. Rather than writing one inch so that our, so that our fraction works I'm going to change this to 25.4 and then we're using the same units. Um, so if I do an inverse sine of 10 over 25.4 23.2 degrees should be our magic angle and then for every graduation which I think they're every thou on my lathe for every graduation here I'm moving in I think one hundredth of a millimeter here so let's go and give that a go okay I've got a piece of aluminium up here I've got this compound set at 23.2 and I've just skinned this and that's 31.9 and I skimmed that with this compound set to zero on the scale so let's say we want to finish at 31 millimeters exactly so we've got to take off 0.9 millimeters and uh, got to remember that this is direct reading so it will take it will take off the measurement that we ask it to which will end up affecting this by double so we need to tell this to move 0.45 millimeters that way so I need to move it 45 thou that way and that's that and let's take a cut So we've 
we're going for 31 millimeters exactly. Thirty-one I one, close enough. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope that was useful. Um, just to recap, those numbers were twenty-three point two degrees, and that will turn um, a one thou movement into a one hundredth of a millimetre. Fourteen point seven degrees will turn a zero point one millimetre movement into one thou. And if you want to do the thousandths to ten thousandths thing, that's five point seven degrees. Last thing I'm, I wanted to mention in this episode was thanks to Emma for running the Tip Blitz um, 19 um, project. I think it's really cool. Can't wait to see all the other tips. And also I wanted to thank uh, Max Grant from the Swan Valley Machine Shop and Patrick and Lance from Active Atom because I got some stickers through the post from, from them. I forgot to mention, um, if you are a YouTube creator and you'd like some stickers from me, just send me a message, um, email your name and address to this email address here, and I'll put some in the post for you. I'm about to order them today because I've reached my 100 subscribers. So, Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing.